I think that the kids today should be able to share in money. A kid like Zion's been the face of college basketball. Tonight on Crossfire, they're already among the brightest sports stars, bringing in millions for their schools and TV. So why not pay student athletes? Some of these colleges have $16 million scoreboards, the gold-plated aquarium. They've got smoothie bars. They've got, uh, I mean, it's ridiculous now. These college football programs, the big ones, they don't even know what to do with the money. Get it up. On the way. No, returned by Chris Davis. Davis goes left. Davis gets a block. Davis has another block. Chris Davis. What's going on, world? And look at all the places around the country to generate some ideas and kind of come up with what we thought would be the, the best equipment room in the nation. Now, Kent will be a lot of people's holy grail. <laughs> I like to tell people, you know, our relationship with Nike is second to none. You know, a lot of people refer to this place as Nike University. We're broom entrance right here. We took the time to create a piece here. So what we have was up here, we have 37 inch TVs on top of every single locker here that we can do custom name plates for each player. Aspects that are important to the business of the sport. Number one is the payouts that are going to be uh, doled out by the BCS. Uh, Alabama, as the SEC's top team, will uh, earn the conference nearly $24 million from the BCS, which will be split evenly among the SEC teams. Notre Dame, on the other hand, is an independent team, so it doesn't receive a conference payout. However, it does have a unique deal with the BCS under which it will receive uh, $6.2 million for uh, being in a BCS bowl game. In years when it's not in a BCS bowl game, it will receive nearly $2 million. The combined payout to Notre Dame and the SEC this year of nearly $30 million from the BCS uh, constitutes nearly 25% uh, of its net annual revenues. Lattimore wrapped up by Lattimore. Oh, and there's the shot right there. Point. So why is it that student athletes aren't paid? Let's start by looking through recent lawsuits against the NCAA. In response to the release of EA Sports' popular NCAA video games, former UCLA basketball player Ed O'Bannon filed a federal lawsuit against the NCAA over whether Division I men's basketball and football players should be compensated for the commercial use of their names, images, and likenesses. After appeals,